Okay, so this is problem number two from the email of practice problems explained out. Um, so we have an order of dopamine at eight micrograms per kilogram per minute. We have available 500 milligrams of dopamine in a 500 ml bag of D5W, and we know that the patient's weight is 176 pounds. We know that our goal is to end up in mLs over hours. So let's first change, here again, we're gonna do it the long way first. So let's first change our pounds into kilos. So you start with pounds on top, so 176, oops, 76 pounds, sorry. Okay, and then we multiply, right? But we gotta multiply by our conversion factor. So we know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram, okay? Now, um, we need to put in our actual equation. So start out with your mLs on top. Why do we do that? Because we know we need to end up with mLs on top. So start as you wanna finish. So 500 ml bag, but you have to put that on the bottom because it's part of the conversion, or sorry, it's part of the concentration. So uh, 800 ml, or sorry, 500 mLs over 500 milligrams. But now again, just like the previous problem, we're in milligrams, so we need to change to micrograms. So put in your conversion factor from milligrams to micrograms. So one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Okay, now we're in micrograms, yay! We can finally put in our actual order because the order is in micrograms per kilogram per minute. So that's our eight micrograms per one kilogram. And remember it's per minute, so we're going to leave this guy up here by his onesie and we got to put that minute down on the bottom because it's micrograms per kilogram per minute. So it really is micrograms over kilograms over minutes. Okay, and now we got to get rid of minutes because remember we need to end up in mLs over hours. So 60 minutes over one hour is our conversion factor from minutes to hours. So before you multiply this out, do your cancellations of your units to make sure we end up with mLs over hours. So pounds goes away, kilos goes away, mLs, we'll circle that guy, hopefully he stays, milligrams are going to go away, micrograms go away, minutes, yes, goes away, all we have left is mLs over hours, and if you do the whole thing out, you get 38.4 mLs per hour. Okay, so that's our drip rate. Okay, now, if you want to do it a different way, I'm gonna show you the, the two-step way, um, just like I did before. Okay, so our two-step way, remember we still have the same problem. Let's start out with our patient weight in, and let's change it from pounds into kilos. So 176 pounds divided by our conversion factor, so that's our 2.2 pounds per one kilogram. And if you multiply that out, that's exactly 80 kilos, okay? So 80 kilos, we need to put this into our actual um, rate so that we can figure out and get rid of the kilograms. So what's our actual rate in mics per minute? Well, we have to multiply eight mics by kilograms in order to get it in mics per minute. So we're gonna multiply 80 kilos by eight mics per minute. Okay, and that is, if we multiply eight times eight, that's 64, and then keep our zero. So that should give us 640 micrograms per minute. Okay, so that's our rate. We gotta keep this guy. Okay, so we got rid of the kilograms so that we can just plug it into our equation. We've already changed pounds into kilos, so we don't need to worry about this part of the equation. Now we don't need to worry about that part of the equation, so we just squish them all together. So start out with your 500 mLs just like before because we want to end up with mLs on top. So 500 mLs over 500 milligrams, okay? And then we will change milligrams into micrograms just like before. So remember our conversion factor, one milligram to 1,000 micrograms, okay? Now we have our micrograms over here, perfect time. We can stick our 640 micrograms over one minute. All right, now we're still in, if we cancel these guys out, we're in mils over, yeah, we're in mils per minute. 
we need to be in mils per hour. So we need to multiply by our minute to hour conversion factor. So that's 60 minutes over one hour. Why did I put the 60 on top? Because the minutes was on the bottom over here. So I know I need to start with my 60 on top over here. So there's our one hour and we get 38.4 mLs per hour. Okay, so either way you decide to do it, however, what, however your brain works.